Hey, Warren Eckstein here. You know, on the radio show for the last 41 years, people are always asking me, Warren, I love to let my cat outside. Doesn't my cat get bored inside? Well, here's some stats for you. Number one, the average lifespan of an outdoor or an outdoor indoor cat generally varies from three to six years. The average lifespan for a cat that's kept indoors is 15 to 16 years. So obviously it's a lot safer to keep them indoors, but I know what you're saying. How can I get my cat the mental stimulation if I can't get them outside? Well, here's what I recommend. In my best-selling book many years ago, How to Get Your Cat to Do What You Want, I wrote an entire chapter on how to get your cat to walk on a leash and harness. So what I've done today is I put down 10 different things that you can do to teach your cat. Now I know what you're saying. It's never going to happen. It is going to happen. You need to be persistent. You need to have a good attitude and you need to have a cat that's willing to learn. Put those pieces together and voila, you'll be out there walking in no time. So let me go over some of these tips with you. First of all, when a cat is doing something wrong, a lot of people say to the cat, uh, Maudie, don't do that. Maudie, don't do this. Well, that's really, really bad. What you need to do is have the cat associate only positive things with its name. So use the cat's name to grab their attention, such as Maudie, come, Maudie, good girl, but never to correct or never to yell or tell them they're doing something wrong. Number you two, as I said, positive things. If you can't say something positive, don't use the cat's name. You might want to say, knock it off. I know we all do that, but not with the cat's name. Also, as I said earlier, and this is so important, when a dog or a cat is doing something, I know we're focused on cats. <clears throat> Many people will say, get over here. What did you do? Bad cat. Or they'll go to the cat and start yelling. What did you do? That's horrible. Only use the cat's name again to associate positive things they learn through association. You know, during the initial training, it's real important from a floor level. So get down on that floor and really make the cat feel comfortable. Now, let me explain a few things to you. Number one is how do you get your cat adjusted to walking on a leash and harness. Well, the first thing you need to do is get the cat adjusted to wearing a harness. So what I recommend you do is take a harness, whichever one you're going to be using, and don't put it on the cat. Just put it down alongside the cat's food dish or put it on your lap when you're massaging the cat or loving the cat. And little by little, the cat will start associating that with positive things. Then after a while, what you can do is just take the, uh, uh, the, uh, the harness and put it over the cat's back and take it right off. Positive association, treat a hug, a kiss, whatever you want to do. Little by little, a cat will associate the harness with all positive things. Then what you may want to do is just try to put it on, take it off. Put it on, take it off. This will make the cat a lot more comfortable. And each time you're on the, once you get the leash, what you need to do is clip the leash onto the harness, but don't necessarily pick up the end. Let the cat walk around with a very, very light leash and very light harness. That can make a difference as well. The thing to remember here is patience and consistency. It's easy to give up. Ah, my cat's never going to do this. Ah, my cat's never going to do that. The bottom line is cats will do that if you take the time to educate them. Cats are so smart. I told people, I, I think cats are so smart to convince people that they can't be trained. And again, as I said, when you call the cat, or even if you don't call the cat and the cat seems to be coming to you, use the cat's name. Kitty, come. What a good girl. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Make it a really, really positive experience. Let's go down my list a little bit more. Talk to other members of the family. You may be doing it correctly, but other members of the family may be doing it incorrectly, using the cat's name for negative things. So make sure you have a family group meeting, sit down together, and make sure everyone's doing it exactly the same way. Uh, Make sure every time you call her, you follow through. Even if it takes 10 minutes to get that one time, you want to do that. Let me go over a few things with you. Cats are really, really intelligent. And I understand what people are saying, that the average cat indoors is not getting the mental stimulation that the cat gets outdoors. But there are so many things you can do safety-wise now. First of all, you can make the indoor of your house a lot more interesting. I talk about that in the cat book as well. But if you want to take your cat for a walk, and I advocate this, even if you want to sit in the backyard with your cat, you can get a leash and tie it to the chair and have the cat grab some sun, watch the birds right alongside of you. But the first thing you got to do is make the cat comfortable. Don't ever force the situation. With some cats, it may take a week. With some cats, it may take a month. With some cats, it may take six months. But the end result is always worthwhile. You know, taking your cat outside and giving them that opportunity for that stimulation is really important. There are other things you can do, by the way. As I said, you can keep the cat inside, make it really interesting in the house, cardboard boxes, paper bags. You know what I've talked about. You can actually get an enclosure, a cat enclosure that's really secure. Just make sure it's secure for outside so your cat can go outside in a safe, sensible way where no other animals can get in. But probably the easiest thing to do, and I know it sounds crazy, is to take the time to literally teach the cat to walk on a leash and harness. Now, I know that's a lot at you, and I'm throwing a lot at you as well. 
But you can also just follow my advice. If you're consistent and the family's consistent in no time at all, you'll be strolling down the street with your feline friend right alongside of you. And for more information about this, if you want to go to my website, thepetshow.com, there's some info there, or pick up a copy of uh, How to Get Your Cat to Do What You Want, available on my website, also available at Amazon as well. But remember, cats are really, really smart. Don't bore your cat, but don't give them the opportunity, the negative opportunity to get hurt outside. Take the time to teach them to walk on a leash and harness. You'll be happier and you really start relationships. That relationship you have with your cat will be so, so much closer when you can spend time bonding together outside safely on a leash and a harness. I'm Warren next time. Never miss the pet show.